Lots of people were sending me messages asking if I had tried a menstrual cup applicator. I've tried one and I can now give you my informed opinion on how it went. Welcome, this is the Period Nirvana channel and my name is Kim Rosas. I'm a menstrual products expert. I've been testing and reviewing and talking about reusable menstrual products for almost a decade now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Believe it or not, it's actually very hard to find menstrual cup applicators in the US. And so I had to go through quite a few hoops I found a brand of applicator from a company called Flority or Flority, and they have a few different websites. One was in Brazil, and so I asked if I had any followers in Brazil, and I did. I had tons of people respond, willing to become a middleman to purchase this product on my behalf and then ship it to the United States because none of the places I could find this applicator shipped directly to the US. Look what came from Brazil, and while I'm sitting in the car line, I'm gonna check it out. Okay. It's a menstrual cup applicator. I have no idea how to use it. The reason I wanted to try a menstrual cup applicator is not because I think it's gross or dirty to insert a menstrual cup and that this is going to solve that problem. I definitely want to advocate for people to get familiar with their bodies, but it is something I thought might be helpful for people who have certain disabilities or access and reach issues or short arms or very high cervix. There's a few different scenarios that play out where the menstrual cup applicator could be helpful. But I also saw it as a very helpful tool in conjunction with the flex cup because the flex cup breaks the seal. So chances are if you have a hard time inserting a menstrual cup, you might also be someone who has a hard time um, with removing a menstrual cup because the seal can be hard to break or because it's hard to access in a way that helps you break the seal. So I thought that if I could combine a menstrual cup applicator with a cup designed with this process in mind to help you break the seal, maybe this would be a good combo. So that's what I did. It's kind of like a clothespin and you need to fold the cup and you need to do something like a punch down fold like this. And then you put it in here. You definitely need two hands to use this product. And then this goes here. And now, I'm actually gonna try it in my vagina. Ah, oh god. So the plastic hit my inner skin. I don't like that. Okay, I'm plunging. I have no idea if the cup opened or not. <laughs> it is in me, but I don't know if it opened. I'm gonna check. I have nails. I think we'll just find out the hard way. I'm wearing period underwear, so if it didn't open, I have that cup. I don't know how this compares to other applicators. There are a few. There's one from a brand called Enna, um, this one, and I feel like there might be one other one that I'm forgetting. And it works by, you know, similar to a tampon where there is a plunging device that goes into um, a clothespin looking item and that's holding the cup that's folded. And if you're thinking about tampon applicators, there is also a reusable tampon applicator. It's not designed for cups. I know some people have kind of rigged them to work for cups. Uh, it's not designed for it. This works better for menstrual cups. Uh, I will say that if we're looking for accessible design, um, I wanted to point out not to do too much self-promotion, but the Hello Disc has some advantages where if you can insert it, um, which it can be a little bit easier to insert, um, the loops do make it easier to remove as well and there's no suction. So it is another product to consider even though it's not yet on retail, it's on Kickstarter still. Um, we are funded now, so it will you know, be in retail very soon. And that was part of the design process was thinking of ways that we could make this an easier product for people to remove. And the insertion is more involved. You will have to reach in, but all you really have to do is tuck this up. So if you can get one finger inside after initially putting it in your body, and then you have the ability to put one finger up, 
uh, it should be an easier product for you to use than some of the menstrual cups that have a suction and some of the discs that don't have an easy way to remove. I was very confused about this part having an opening because in all the videos I could find using it, it didn't really seem to utilize it and it certainly didn't happen to work with the cup that I was trying this out for. And it only goes one way. So one way will not fit. You have to go this way in this Flority um, applicator. One particular fold works really well. Um, and some folds just don't work with this. Uh, when you're inserting it into your body, what I found is that you really have to try to get it as straight as possible. Um, because the first time I, I in, the first time I inserted it, I didn't do that. And uh, I had fake nails on and I didn't realize that this cup had not opened inside of me. It's now time to uh, remove the cup and um, I have had some white leaks so it's not leak free unfortunately. I just have to take this off. I can't feel the cup. <laughs> can't do it anymore. <laughs> this is not a normal position. So here's what happened. It was not in right and my period's pretty light so I did see some leakage in the period underwear and I saw leaks when I wiped but it wasn't a lot because right now it's not very heavy. It was like now that I can feel it, it was not right. <laughs> So, um, it caught a little bit somehow, but it was not in right. And I couldn't even find the stem because it was like, I'll have to try it on another day because that was not, I mean, it didn't work. It went in okay, but it didn't actually quite get it in where it needed to go, but maybe with practice. Let's kind of, um, try to show you how this works. I'll do it the way I inserted it the first time. So you can see where I just kind of did this. And then I plunged it. And in my case, it was like really sideways. <laughs> it didn't work so great. Um, let's try it again a little more straight. So again, we're using the punch down fold because this seems to be the most um, conducive with the flex cup in this menstrual cup applicator. And then I tried to get it as straight as I could. The downside of this menstrual cup applicator, and there are se and there are several. <laughs> One being that it doesn't always like to stay folded. Um, tools, as I've mentioned in other videos, are hard because touch the tactile feeling that um, happens when you insert a menstrual cup with your hands is really important to getting it in correctly. A lot of times you have to feel around the cup to make sure it's open. You have to kind of notice if it's dented and manipulate it with your hand manually. So that's something you're not gonna be able to do with the tool. Um, but again, I'm here to provide some options for people who might need something like this. And that's why um, I went and purchased it and tried it with the Flex. So let's try to angle it. And the other issue is that it's very wide when you do it this way to insert, which I found out with myself. Um, so once it's at the height, you want to push and release in this glass vase. It's not opening because it's not a body. The first time I tried it, it didn't open because I inserted it where the cup was basically at an angle and it was like, practically sideways in my body and I don't even think I can make it do what it did in my body because it was like this. So I had to take off my nails to end up figuring out what was going on. I could like the stem was sideways in my body. Um, so that didn't go so well. I wanted to try it again because I really felt like it went in very easily. I was very surprised and I thought, okay, well, if it does open, this could be a huge game changer for some people who have not been able to use a menstrual cup because of the issues I've already discussed. Um, and so I did try it again. Okay, I'm determined at this point. So I'm actually having to test another product, but I can't get this out of my head. I wanna see if it works or not. So I'm taking a brief respite from the other product to try this product because my vagina is booked out every period. I tried 
to get it as straight as possible. So I don't have nails. Let's try again. It's not a slim fold, so I don't love this experience for me. Out, plunged, checking. It's centered and it's open. Some people ask if it will work with any cup. I, again, didn't buy the Floridi cup, but this one's pretty similar. They have a, a tab and it's just a regular bullet shaped cup. And I tried to get it to do a C fold where like maybe, gosh, like really getting it folded in there. Cause I've seen some people do it and it's like really not working for me. So I have seen some people have it in the applicator in a C fold like this. And I can't seem to get this particular applicator to work with any cup in the C fold. That would be a good fold for it because it would be straight when you insert it and open this way. But I really, maybe I should have bought the cup that goes with it to try, but I just like every single which way that I have inserted it, um, it will just open like that. It does not, I cannot get it to stay. I can't get it to stay folded in the C fold. So if you've tried this particular product and you have figured out how to do that, please let me know because I spent probably 10 minutes with different folds um, trying out how to get it to do that. So here is a um, triangle fold. So that can work with it. Again, you want to try to do it at a certain angle, I would think, because it's going to be wide as you insert something that way. So let's do that. It's stuck sometimes. Um, there we go. So, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of conflicting feelings on this device because it doesn't seem to have a lot of variability in the folds you can use with it. Um, you certainly need to try to get it as straight as possible. And once it's like, once it's been expelled from you, if you're using this because you can't reach um, or you have a hard time with your hands, it really depends on why you need this product, if it's gonna work for you. Um, you know, I don't have anything, any disabilities or strength issues or reach issues um, that are going to inhibit me from using a menstrual cup in the way, um, you know, manually inserting it. So once I was using the applicator, the second time I used it, I was able to reach inside and feel and make sure it was going to work. Now, let's say, and you want to try this product and you're able to get it, um, hopefully you can, and you want to pair it with whichever cup, whether it be the Flex Cup or any cup. Um, I would just say that you want to wear some sort of backup until you know it's working. So that's what I did. When I couldn't feel it was open, I had period underwear on and I needed them because I was leaking. The second time I was able to get it in successfully, I didn't need the period underwear. I wasn't leaking. Okay. Moment of truth. Color me impressed. It sealed and it worked. And when I was ready to remove it because it was uh, the flex cup, I did this and it was really an easy process. And that was only my second try. So I have to imagine that uh, giving it a few more tries um, for someone who might not have as much menstrual cup experience as I do, um, you'd be able to get there. So yeah, like this is showing exactly, I'm trying to get the cup out. If you're using a regular cup and you have a good seal, like I literally, oh, there we go, can hardly get that out. So one thing that I did note when I was making shorter videos about this for my TikTok is that it's very clear you need two hands and that you have to have a certain level of dexterity to insert this and use it. Um, so, I mean, it gets easier with practice as all things typically do. Um, but, you know, you do have to kind of understand how this is going and squeeze it in there. There we go. Um, so, yeah. I actually am going to fully admit I didn't think this product was going to work well at all. Um, I just assumed that the cups weren't going to open um, because I don't know. I've been lucky that in most of the cups I use, I don't have to manually fiddle to open them. The Flex Cup, I'll note, while this is not a Flex review, 
Um, it's a very average firmness, and so one downside of using it with this particular applicator, any applicator, would be that um, it's not going to open with a lot of force, and so it may not open all the way without manipulation. Um, it's not a soft cup by any means, but it's not a firm cup. And so firmer cups, um, kind of like the, the lunette that I was playing with, are going to more likely open, but again, you don't have the added bonus of the seal breaking. If that's something you need, you need both, you need the applicator and something to break the seal, then you want the flex. So um, yeah, I wish I could say that it's like totally gonna work, it's gonna work with the flex, and it's gonna open in your body. Uh, flex does have two different sizes, um, but I can't say that. I say it's worth investigating, I say it's worth look looking into if you've always wanted to use a cup and you've been unable to. Uh, the product was actually really inexpensive in Brazil, if you convert it to US dollars, it was less than $9. Um, I did have to pay additionally to ship it and ship it to the United States. So that added to the cost. Um, I've heard mixed things about the brand Floridy and also like the, the silicone that they use. I had a few people comment and chime in and say that they uh, had bad experiences. I can't attest to any of that. And this of course wasn't a cup. In terms of washing this, I can't, it came with no box and I don't know why. Um, it didn't have like an actual box for this product. It had like some other box. Um, that could have been because we're doing the middleman thing. So I didn't really have any instructions, but I just washed it with soap and water um, between uses. There were a few issues with comfort. These are rounded, but I could definitely feel when it was being inserted into my body and not in a good way. Not painful, just not a good feeling. Um, so again, not a big deal, but I wanted to mention it. It does make it so that the cup is not, you're not putting it in the way you would put in with your hands where if you're doing a punch down fold, you get a narrow fold and you can kind of like angle it as you need to for comfort. Uh, it's just like, boom, it's going in the way it's going in, which means it's gonna have um, quite a bit of a wider base as it enters your body, whichever fold you end up using, which I feel like the punch down is gonna be the best <laughs> for this product and this cup. My final thoughts are that it's not bad. It's not, it, I don't think it's just gonna magically be the solution for everyone, but I think it has some potential, especially paired with the Flex. And obviously I have, you know, made my thoughts on the company known, but the cup is a well-designed cup and um, totally segue uh, topic. During the process of designing the Hello Disc, I think, one thing that really occurred to me is that the Flex, um, the cup, the Kila, is really like something that must have been super hard to manufacture. Like these are all things I was learning while doing the Hello Disc. I actually uh, uh, have no idea how they did it now that I've learned more about manufacturing. Um, so it's serving a purpose. It's helping people use menstrual cups. A lot of people are fans. And so for that, um, you know, I think it's something that I have been recommending, especially in my quiz, because people have certain other issues removing menstrual cups. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I hope that the next video won't be as rambly. And uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know. And I would actually love comments from anyone who's been able to source them um, in the United States. Maybe you have a good source. I haven't really found a good place to buy them in the U.S., don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or um, have used one especially or if you know where to find them and you're in the U.S. I had a hard time with that. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And if you need troubleshooting help, make sure you join our group on Facebook. It's called Period Nirvana Community. You can get help with the um, different topics like using menstrual cups and discs. Uh, and that's everything. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Um, but if it... Mm, can't talk. I haven't had coffee yet either. I do open without manipulate. Boo. Oh.